Hey, you see these puzzles in front right now? This is an awesome metaphor for being in small business. I'm at my family's house right now for a family dinner and uh, my, my, my cool brother-in-law busted out these puzzles and I think I'm smart, you think you're smart, you think you're so smart, but come a little bit closer here. And this is exactly what it's like being in a small business of how it messes with your mind. So uh, you're probably familiar with maybe stuff like this if you are around small equipment. It's just a spring and a ring. How do you get that this ring off the spring? You know, these little puzzles, right? And so my brother-in-law couldn't figure it out. He's like, how do you get this damn thing off? And I'm like, oh. Like, it took me like 10 seconds, and I was like, ha, 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 I'm so smart. And I gave it to him, and he's still like, how did you do it? I can't even get it back on. And my ego was getting stroked. And then he finally figured it out. And I realized you just have to bend the rules a little bit and apply pressure to it. And then it's back on. So cool. So he says, oh, yeah, I got one more puzzles. He brings out this puzzle. And this is kind of where the epiphany came from. I have to make this video. Uh, the mysterious mind ca reader cards, and I know this stuff is it's fun. Pick any number one through sixty, put the cards down on the table, and then he could tell you what the number is. My brother-in-law, I'm like, dude, how the hell did you do that? It's it's a magic trick. I'm not going to go into it. And he did it with the multiple numbers, and now I'm getting upset because I don't understand how. And then we figured out it's just a simple mathematical. It's very simple once you know how to do it. Very simple. And then one more thing. Trust me, this one, this last one is the hardest one. I'll be to this one in a second. There's a dice here, a die. Pick a number. He shakes it, it's cool. and he's telling me what the number is on the dice that I did in secret every time. And I'm getting mad, like, how are you doing that? Okay, there's a different tone. He's like, no, you hold up to the light, and you can actually see through this. You're like, get to the point, Kelpus. You can see through it and you can barely see the numbers. So, this is the hardest one. And this is why I'm making this video. I think I'm so smart, I couldn't get this box open. I was, I felt vulnerable. I'm, can you get this box open? No matter how hard you try, you can't get this stupid box open. And then he opens it in two seconds. And I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. So, when I finally figured out, that's when this epiphany hit me. I had to like slow down, stop all my thought, take a breath. Like how often can you do that in real life, right? Especially when you're like running a small business and you have a million plates spinning. I had to really stop and analyze this thing. And he was helping me. I was still in a car. But... So, that might have looked easy on the video, but if you had this thing in your hand, I promise you, you'd, you'd throw it against the wall. Because you have to pinch it in such a specific way, because you're fighting against yourself. Such, and there's only one, it's like a combination lock, like picking a lock. There's only one combination or algorithm, a way of things, or a system, a way things go in real life, or in, in your business. And no matter what other way you do it, it won't work. Or it'll work really sloppily. But once you find out formula it just produces a mathematical result all the time the same way every single time and so finally when I got it I was like see these little pinch points the way it just the way it's designed it's not gonna open any other way I feel a little silly going on and on about this video because I could have made it faster but and it's like oh it just hit me like a ton of bricks like I really think that the key is when we're inside of our business, like being like an fish in an aquarium and a fishbowl, you just can't see it. And the more frustrated you get is the more you can't see it. You ever walk into like somebody else's house or someone else's situation and you can see it so crystal clear because you're not like emotionally invested in it. I really want to know in the comments below, how do you do that? How do you divest yourself or divorce yourself from the chaos of the moment so you can look at something objectively and see it through these eyes? I also recently took an IQ test and there's emotional intelligence, there's spatial intelligence, there's creative intelligence. 
and I think doing that like a disc profile analysis can really help you with this stuff. That said, let me know what you think in the comments below. Yeah, dog, hit the subscribe button. Dude, I never would have figured that out. It's so simple. All right, later.